Our Lady of Zero to Angela on October 8, 2021. This evening, Mother appeared all dressed in white. The mantle wrapped around her was also white. The same mantle covered her head as well. On her head was a crown of 12 stars. Mother's arms were open in a sign of welcome. In her right hand was a long white rosary, as if made of light, which almost went down to her feet. On her chest was a heart of flesh crowned with thorns. In the center of the heart was a little flame that was burning. Her feet were bare and placed on the world. On the world was a serpent, which Mother was holding firmly in with her right foot. May Jesus Christ be praised. Dear children, thank you for being here in my blessed woods on this day so dear to me. My children, this evening I come to bring you a message of love and peace. Dearly beloved children, today I rejoice with you. I weep with you. I am close to each one of you. She pointed to her heart. I place you all within my immaculate heart. Children, my heart burns with love for you. It beats for each one of you. I love you, my children. I love you immensely, and my greatest desire is my wish to save you all. My children, this evening I again ask you for prayer. Prayer for this world that is increasingly in the grip of the forces of evil. My children, I beg you to stay away from all that is evil. When you feel tired and oppressed, take refuge in prayer. Bend your knees and pray. Many call themselves Christians, but still turn to fortune tellers, palm readings, and the world of the occult, believing that they can solve every problem. Beloved children, the soul's salvation is in my Son, Jesus. Please, children, do not depart from the truth by following the false and futile beauties of this world. Dearly beloved children, I ask you to listen to me and to take refuge in the only salvation, that is my Son Jesus, who died for each one of you. Then Mother asked me to pray with her. I prayed for all those who had entrusted themselves to my prayers and also for all the priests present. Then Mother spoke again. Children, pray much for the priests. Do not judge them, but pray for them. They are very fragile and in need of much prayer. Finally, from Mother's heart, rays of light came out that illuminated some of the pilgrims. Daughter, these are the graces I give you this evening. In conclusion, she blessed everyone. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>